My name is Bob Irish. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm sure you have questions about short sales, loan modifications, and foreclosures, so let's get started. First of all, I'm a licensed California real estate broker, and I have a fiduciary obligation to you, the homeowner, to treat you right. Let me get started with loan modifications. Loan modifications. I'm sure you've seen the signs on the side of the road. I've seen I'm sure you've seen attorney advertisements, uh, foreclosure prevention specialists. And all those people charge money. Well, those are called advance fees, and you can't do that in California. I can't do that, and no one else should be doing that. So don't use those people. If you see a yellow sign on the side of the road, think about, is that guy really the best person for me? Loan modifications are fairly easy. All you have to do is contact the bank directly yourself. Will it go through? I don't know. You have to have a reasonable expense, debt, income ratio. You have to talk to the bank and you have to do all the work yourself, but it is free. If you need help, a HUD counselor can help you. HUD counselors are free, look them up. They will help you for free. They will submit the paperwork for you. They will help you through the process. But again, if you wanna do a loan modification, they're free. Take care of it yourself. Don't pay anybody to do it. Short sale, on the other hand, has to be done by a licensed realtor like myself. We list a house for sale, we get an offer, we take the offer to the bank and we negotiate on your behalf. We bring that offer to you, that acceptance letter that the bank has given us, and you had the final say-so. 
and whether or not you want to do a short sale. You always have the opportunity to say no or stop doing business with us at any time. A foreclosure is if you don't do a loan mod and you don't do a short sale and the bank files that notice of default, they're going to file a trustee sale and they will foreclose on your house. There is no emotion with the bank. It's simple facts. If they file the notice of default, they file the trustee sale, they will foreclose regardless of how much you'd like to keep your home. I'm sure you have questions about deficiencies, that difference between what it is that you owe on the home and what it is that we sell the house for. Well, that in California, on a first and a second, as long as the bank agrees to the short sale, is forgiven. SB, Senate Bill 931 takes care of first. SB 458 is for the seconds or any other junior liens. Again, if the bank agrees to take that short sale and we sell it for 200 and you owe 400, that difference is forgiven. On a foreclosure, it may not be. The first will be. But the second has the opportunity to come after you in a foreclosure if they charge it off or send it to collections and come after you. So you got to decide between a short sale and a foreclosure whether or not you want to deal with any potential deficiencies. Lastly, are there taxes? Yes. You will get a 1099. Will you have to pay taxes? Don't know. The most likely scenarios are if this is your principal residence and you owe what you bought it for and you haven't taken out any money or refinanced it, the answer should be simply no, you won't owe taxes on that, even though you'll get a 1099 and you do have to file it with your taxes. Just because you don't owe any money doesn't mean that you don't have to put it on your taxes. However, if you bought the house, took money out and didn't put it back into the house, but rather just took the money out for whatever reason and refinanced it, it's possible you're going to have to pay taxes on that money over and above the original purchase price. You should talk to an attorney. Attorneys will help you with the deficiencies. You should talk to a CPA. CPAs will help you with the 1099 and the tax implications. And if you want to do a short sale, talk to a licensed California real estate broker. Thanks for listening.